Let's take a look at the subject of free fall. <clears throat> we have a cliff that's 45 meters high, and we're going to release an object. Actually, it's a wily e. coyote. It is going to fall straight down. He has no horizontal velocity, and we want to figure out where he is and how fast he's going at one, two, and three seconds. Should be able to do this for any number of seconds. Uh, when we say free fall, we mean that we're not including air resistance which might not be a really good assumption after a while e. Coyote gets going really fast, but for a lot of situations, it uh, works perfectly fine. So we want a coordinate system, and so I'm going to say where a while e. Coyote starts is our origin, and notice I'm using Y since we're looking at vertical motion instead of X for horizontal motion. doesn't really matter, but later on we're going to look at motion that's occurring in both dimensions at the same time and so we'll want to distinguish them. And so I'm making down positive, because that's the way he's going. If you tilt your head, it's just a, a car starting from rest, accelerating along the positive axis. And let's assign our variables. So he's starting at the origin, so the initial y position is zero. And the acceleration, uh, he's on Earth, so it's 9.8 meters per second per second. And notice I put a positive there to emphasize that free fall acceleration is always down. And so don't worry about whether it's positive or negative. Remember, it's always down. Since I made down positive, that means the acceleration is positive. If I were to make up positive, the book will do that sometimes, and so will I. And so you might say the ground is zero and up is positive. Then we would have a negative acceleration. And so it's always down, and your coordinate system tells you whether it's positive or negative. And so we also know his initial velocity is zero, so he's just going to drop straight down, you know, the old cartoon thing. He ran out here and then floated, hovered in the air till he looked down, then he's going to fall. And we want to find how fast he's going and what his y position is at t equal one second. And the easy one is the velocity. It's just the initial plus the acceleration times the time. And so that's zero plus 9.8. Uh, times 1, notice the units, we end up with 9.8 meters per second. And so where is he at? What is his y position? How far has he gone? Is it 9.8 meters? If you think it's 9.8 meters, that is one of the most common wrong answers for this question. It is not 9.8 meters. Why not? He's going 9.8 meters per second, except did he start out that fast? No. He's been going slower than 9.8 for the whole time. He didn't reach 9.8 until um, just at the end. So uh, we want to use maybe average velocity. And so what was his average velocity? Well, if you have constant acceleration, it's the in initial plus the final over 2. And so 0 plus 9.8 .8 over 2. His average is 4.9 meters per second. And so we can use average velocity as a change in y over the time. And so y is the average velocity times the time, 4.9 times 1, plus the initial is 0. And so he only went 4.9 meters. And so where is he going to be? It's going to be right there. And how fast is he going? 9.8 meters per second. So you should be able to do this for any time that you're given. Uh, let's take a look at what it would be for 2 seconds. So all this is going away. And so our initial condition is still the same. I'm going back to the beginning now. So the coyote is right up here, and I just want to figure out what's happening at 2 seconds. And so find his velocity and position at 2 seconds. So again, the velocity, pretty easy, 19.6 meters per second, about 20. You can use uh, the acceleration um, to be 10 if you want. But since this is AP physics, we'll use 9.8. And so the average velocity then would be the initial 0 plus 19.6 over 2, 9.8 meters per second. So how far did he go? Well, the average velocity is change in distance over time. So it's the average velocity times the time, and you get 19.6 meters. So he's right there. Doesn't this look like constant acceleration? Remember the uh, glider on the air track? left a trail of dots, and they kept getting further and further apart. So you might see if you can guess where will Wally Coyote be at three seconds. 
Uh, there's another way you could do this. Instead of average velocity, um, you can use the equation that tells me is position as a function of time when we have constant acceleration. And so we know all the things in this equation and can solve for y. And so the initial position is zero, initial velocity is zero. So it's just one half the acceleration times the time squared. And notice the units uh, cancel out here because I have seconds squared. And I get 19.6 meters. Same answer is with average. And so either way is okay. I like this average velocity way, but this is, uh, this is an important equation. Maybe do it both ways. How about t equal 3? Find the velocity uh, and the position at t equal 3 seconds. And so the velocity is 29.4 meters per second, just at, right? Uh, you should be able to solve this. What if we threw Coyote down or he threw a bomb down with some initial velocity? Then you'd have to include, include that. It's not always zero. And so the average would be 14.7, and we had that average for three seconds. And so now he's gone 44.1 meters. Or you can use this equation as well and solve for 44.1. So where is he at? Almost the bottom. So if your eye picked up, hey, I think he's going to be around here. You have a good uh, appreciation for where he might be about. And how fast is he going? 29.4 to put that in perspective, 66 miles per hour. Uh, but he hasn't hit the ground yet. But he's about to. Help. So that was uh, introduction to free fall. If you want to do well at this, you should be able to solve for anything. What if I gave you 44.1 and I wanted to know the time? What if I gave you 14.7 and I wanted the time or I wanted the distance? And so you should be able to solve for any set of givens. Uh, you could even solve for the acceleration if we put you on another planet. And so here's some uh, practice problems you can do. And so what about, could you find the velocity in the y position at t equal 4? Pause this video and see if you can, and I'll give you the answer in a second. So pause it. No cheating. Okay, here's the answer. Oh, no. You were peeking. You didn't solve it. It's the last chance. Pause it. Here's the answer. And so if you got that, good for you. How about another one? Could you find the time and the position when Coyote's velocity is 25 meters per second? You know, it's going to be somewhere in between here. Uh, see if you can do it. Pause the video. Work it out. Here comes the answer. Oh, you're still trying to peek. Solve it first. Here comes the answer for real. And finally, a third one. How about could you get the time and the velocity with the position equal to 10? And pause it. No peeking. Here comes the answer. And so you also might take any of these and see if you can get the acceleration. Even though we know it's 9.8, you could be asked to solve for it in some unknown situation. So if you got all those right, nice job. Take a break. We'll see you later.